you always hear us talk about weather radios, and this is what the typical basic weather radio looks like. And the reason they're so important to have as your baseline of protection is that in the middle of the night, this is going to sound a siren if there's a warning in your area and wake you up. You know, James and I can't just come knock on that door and say, hey, there's a tornado warning. So that's why we tell you you need one of these radios. And I'm going to show you how to program that today. There's several key bits of information you need to know, and we'll show you how to get that off the web right now. Now you need to know two bits of information, your county code and the frequency. To find both of those, just look up Alabama SAME codes, S-A-M-E, and do a Google search, and it should pull you right to the National Weather Service site. So you click on that, and you'll see your county code and the frequencies listed next to it. Now come on down to, say, Jefferson County, and we'll highlight Jefferson County. And notice there are actually four listings. You can actually use the same county code, but you can pick four different transmitters. And that's going to be specific to your area. Most of you will use the Birmingham transmitter, which is 162.550. That's easy to find, and you'll be able to hear it. And I'll show you what that sounds like here in just a second. Now, for step one, make sure you've got fresh batteries. And in this case, make sure it's plugged up as well. And make sure the weather radio is actually turned on. That makes all the difference in the world. Otherwise, it's just a heavy book holder at this point or paperweight. So you want to search menu. You don't care about the time as much right now. The number one thing is to test or set the county code. We'll come back to channel. That's the frequency. In this case, we want to set location. So set. We want to set for a single county. You can set same one. That's your county one. And then zero, zero, one is actually the state of Alabama, county code 73 is for Jefferson. And just hit select. And then menu to back out. And then we want to cycle through until we get to channel and hit select. And then we actually hear that channel code 162.550. You can shuffle between them and maybe you find a better code, but in this case, channel 7 is our best code. You'll hear that radio voice. Hit menu and you're done. To test it, all you have to do is hit that weather snooze button. Actually save all the way up. Uh, to test it, all you have to do is hit that weather snooze button and you should be able to get a weather forecast with that radio voice. All right, we've set it for one single county, but what if you live close to the county line, like say Shelby County? Well, we can add a second county to that. So we'll walk through adding a second county right now, just so you get the hang of it. All right, to add the second county, go to your menu, cycle through, all the way through until you see the channel. Now we've already set the channel, so skip by that. That's very important. You don't wanna mess with that one at this point. And you want to go to location, hit select. Instead of single, you want to go to multiple, hit select. Now, segment one, we've already set for Jefferson County, so cycle down to segment two. In fact, you have to actually hit the up button, hit select. And notice nobody's ever entered any numbers in here. So, zero, zero, one is Alabama. Shelby County is one, one, seven. Hit select, menu, menu, until you get back out to the clock, and you should be done. Hit the snooze button to test, and you hear that radio voice, and you should be ready to go. Well, now that we've got our weather radio program for Jefferson and Shelby County, make sure you get it plugged up. That's key. You've got to have it plugged up because the batteries won't last very long. They're strictly for backup. And remember to change those batteries. Whenever the time changes, we always remind you to change the batteries, not just in your smoke detectors, but also in your weather radios, because the time often changes, often at the beginning of our severe weather seasons, both in the spring and the fall. Hopefully you'll never have to use one of these, but if you do, you know you've got it by the bedside table, and it'll wake you up in the middle of the night, and hopefully James and I will be ready to go.